Hi there everyone and welcome to the VR Flight Sim channel. Uh, this video is just for those people that are running the TBM 900 while in VR and are struggling maybe to get the throttle to go back into the taxi and reverse range as was I when I first had this uh, first had this model. Um, it's not actually possible using the uh, controller in VR to bring that back into the taxi and reverse range unless you do a bit of programming. Um, and I've taken the option of assigning a key onto my throttle to just overcome the gate that stops that. So first of all, let's just have a look at the problem. So I've got this TBM 900 already running um, and we're just sitting on the runway here. So I'll go ahead and unpause this video. Right, so as you can see, it's sitting at the bottom of the power range in flight idle. And when I just go ahead and raise that throttle, you can see the throttle moving forward, but nothing's happening on screen for a while until perhaps we get to there and then we start to get some increased power. Let's just bring that back again. And as we bring it back, you get that little click as it meets the gate at the bottom. From here, you can take it back across if you want to into flight idle at high and uh, sorry, it's into high idle and uh, mid idle there and cut off ranges. But um, you can't actually get it to go back into the taxi and reverse range there because it's got a gate that needs to be overcome. So the way to do that really easily, I think, is just to go into flight config and we will assign the correct key to the my I've got an X55 Rhino throttle you can assign it to any button so the key is we have a look on the back here I've already done it the key I've got a number four here is toggle reverse uh, thrust reverses toggle thrust reverses and that gets you past that gate so I've assigned it to this little button here let's just go ahead and have a look at that so back in the cockpit if we go up into the power range and now bring it back down again wait for that click okay we're at the gate I'm going to press that button on the back that I uh, just assigned and you should hear it click through the gate there it is and now we can take it back into the taxi range and as you carry on back into the reverse range, you just see the strain on the brakes and tip back a little bit. There we go. <laughs> okay. And as it comes back up, you'll go back again and you'll click through the gate. There's the click. Now we're in the power range. And once again, at the bottom of the power range, you'll hear the click. And if I this time don't press that gate click through, the toggle gate reverses, thrust reverses, you'll see that this whole bottom range does nothing again. Okay, so that's about it. I hope that helps someone. Uh, that little button here just allowing you to click through the gate and use the slower range. Really great for short runways, really great for controlled taxiing so you don't burn through your brakes. Okay. Well, I hope that helps someone, and uh, good luck. Cheers. Bye.